Hello, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. I'm Chan Salson, and it was Maras in the last episode. Uh, we got a text message interrupting my recording. Sorry about that. Probably didn't even notice it. I did. Um, last episode, we got to floor 8, I believe. Um, I died in the middle of it, so off screen, I went back and finished it so that. Y'all, they don't have to deal with it, but it seems like it's either an event floor or a Xiao only floor, I guess we'll see. Alright, let's proceed. This looks like an event. Oh! Jesus, straight out of the gate. seems simple. Um, I'm gonna off-screen, redo that, and be right back, but with the special gem, you know what I mean? Easy peasy, got on the third try. Present for the fairies of Terra. Acquired an op an opal. Another opal? Wait. Wait. I oh, already had an opal. Wait, no, this one's an opal and the other one's a pearl. But I got an opal before. Oh. What does an opal give us? Gives us endurance, no stats, metal breaker, and mage killer. I need metal breaker for one of the upgrades. Might do that. Up -da. Yeah. But that upgrade tree I don't really like. I don't like the sand sword because it's pretty weak. Looks like a switch for this door seems smashing with something with that Huh. So hole or something over here though. Um, smells like a snake. Use item with I'm gonna... Shit. Kinda... Kinda worried. Cause I'm pretty sure if I do the item thing... I'm gonna temporarily leave the dungeon save, because I got that opal, and I don't wanna... <laughs> lose my opal. Just in case. Cause I'm pretty sure that's the snake fight. And the snake fight, uh... Let's just say... It's another, um, quick time event, which the previous one was pretty easy, not gonna lie. Unlike the Goro fight for some reason, it took me like an hour to complete. Maybe it's because of fatigue, who knows, maybe I was just really tired and was just not able to hit the buttons correctly. I felt like there was maybe an input delay, uh, maybe record or keeping the emulator running too long with the game just causes input delay, because I did a lot of the buttons perfectly. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. That doesn't sound like a mouse. Oh. Hello. Is it a quick time? Oh, yes it is. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Wait, was that it? Wait, what? Straight up dead. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. How did I miss that though? Like, I hit up, and it seems like that was the only quick time available. I don't know how that failed. Maybe there was. Maybe there's a button that was missing. Alright, let's get this better. Oh, maybe? No, I have the Serpent. I was like, maybe it's because I don't have the Serpent Sword, but I have it equipped. Alright. The other button? Oh, there is more buttons. Yeah, I auto-failed that. Alright. <laughs> You'll see the version of this that I 100% do, because I want that Opal, or whatever it'll do. Triangle, circle. 
let's go. Let's let's get rich on shiny gems to make our weapons strong. Wow, this is long. Hey! <laughs> oh god, his head got cut off. Acquired a garnet. Don't I already have a garnet? Damn it. Or I had a garnet. Oh, that took a while. Serpent Sword has completed its mission. It is now an involvable sword. Nice. What is this? Bone Pendant Acquired. Well, that took me a little bit of time. Not as long as, <laughs> as the, the Goro fight. I think that might be the last... The last quick time event fight in the game. At least the last quick time event fight. I know there's another quick time event involving... Uh, running across some pillars. But that's like later on the game, and I don't even know if that counts towards um, getting gems. So I guess we'll find out. But anyways, let's present this bone amulet to our good friend Goro here. You don't give up, do you? What do you want? Well, you see, I have this bone pendant worn by Fudu. Wait, this is my paws. Where'd you get it? What? You were dead. I'm sorry, Goro. Forgive me for having suddenly left you. Goro, I'm no longer of this world. I'm a spirit now. No, no, you're lying. It's the truth. Before I died, I put a message for you in the pendant. Father, you see, it's that message. Wait, but <laughs> how would? <laughs> How would the message know how to respond to Goro? <laughs> it's like, it's like the message, like, it's like his father's like, yeah, this is probably what Goro will respond to, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just respond how, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, this is terribly and sad, it's just, how would he would know? Listen carefully, Goro. The evil force that attacked this village is now devouring the entire world. With your allies, you must stop it. If you are really my son, then show me. Honor me and all the hunters through your courage and now. No, no way. Everybody in the village left you to die. I ain't gonna help those cowards. You misunderstood them. I was not betrayed by my fellow villagers. As you know, I was said to be the best hunter in the village. I killed even that brutal white tiger in one blow. Tiger. 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 But my body was being gradually weakened by an illness. I realized I had very little time left for myself. I was prideful hunter. My pride would not allow me to die of illness. I wanted to die in battle as a hunter should. One day I went into the woods where, I, uh, where the fearful killer snake dwelt, taking the, uh, several villages. I are those villagers from the village? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we have them yet. I think Pow, I think that's Pow, right? I thought the powerful killer snake would be a perfect opponent to end my career as a hunter. Deep inside, I wanted to die in this battle. That very hunt was my plan to end my life with pride. Thus, I challenged the killer snake to a reckless fight. I, of course, fought with my best, but it was obvious I was not a match for the killer snake with body weakened by illness. And the killer snake got me and started to squeeze me slowly. Soon I saw my fading flame of life start to flicker away. It was what I had wished for. I chose to die with bravery. The villagers that were with me left quietly. I still remember the sadness in their eyes. They probably all knew. Knowing that, knowing it all, they stayed to see it through to the end. 
they still to this day speak of me as the strongest hunter that ever was. You call them cowards, Goro. They kept the truth hidden out of respect for me. But, but, but why? Why did you do that? Goro, one day you'll understand. I am a hunter. I wanted to die a hunter. Not an invalid. And you, you were also a hunter. Go, go a hunter. Go, fight Goro. Join with the other warriors and fight evil. Be a greater man than Kid. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Pa. <laughs> what are you looking at? Me saving the world? Not likely. But I want to give it a shot anyway. Not for the villagers or for Dad, but for me. I'll fight for me. I'll become Goro, the mighty hunter of legend. And that is our third ally. Or second ally, depending on how you see it. Um, Goro. Hammer slash axe wielder. Call me whenever you're in trouble. I'll do better than you. Alright. I think we could get this axe? I always thought that you could get that axe for some reason. Oh boy, let's check check this out. All right, premium chicken, beast buster, fruit of Eden, pocket. <laughs> that all. I think there might be more later on. First things first. Get that upgrade. Also, I got this in uh, floor seven, which is kind of funny if you think about it, because I lost, <laughs> I, I lost, uh, I lost, air quote, lost my uh, sundew when I died to the mimic, and now I have another sundew. Quality. Nice, uh, stats-wise. I'm still missing some villager items, but... We're, we're doing pretty good. Um, not gonna lie. As I said, our, uh, a while when we started the uh, Matakiv village, that uh, all we needed to do was beat Wild's Eld Forest, and we'd, we'd passed my old ambitions. Um, we would be better than old chance, younger chance. So that's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, continue on riding, right? Get on on uh, over to Matake. Uh, I mean, to Wazal Forest with Goro, so he could help us get to the next floor. And uh, actually, I could I could do one more floor. Do one more floor and then we'll end the episode. Territory 9. Yep, Goro with his mighty hammer. So that's the mechanic that Goro adds to the table. He has a hammer, he hits things with that hammer, and it opens doors. Out of all of them, I think Goro is the least used. Well, I mean, I guess he's used a bit more because he is the third long Arda. He is one of the more staple characters because he's around longer than the other melee user. But I'm pretty sure... Um, mechanic-wise, he didn't really use very much. 
Oh yeah, I can. Absolutely. Uh, my personal way of switching between Zhao and Toen was always going down. Now that. Oh, now that Goro is here, it's gonna screw that up. Momo. Momo. Who's Momo? Wait, is Momo? I know in Matake Village there's like this creature. Um, he's like the. Uh, He's supposed to be the, uh, uh, he's supposed to be the bank of the village. I remember that. And I'm not sure if Momo is that. He in Momo's house. No, it's probably not him. Momo must, I think, might be the old man. Oh no! I hate the moles. They don't get stun locked and they take a lot. Yeah, they deal a lot of damage, not take a lot of damage. Uh, gooey conditions. I don't even know if there's a freeze heal. I legitimately hate the the mole. <laughs> um, they just do a lot of damage, and they, as far as I know, you can't hit them when they're underground. And their freeze effect sucks ass. Hate it. I hate it. So glad that I think we're almost done. <laughs> Wise Owl Forest. I don't know if we're actually almost done, Wise Owl Forest, but you know what? If we... Uh, if, if it's like how I remember it, we are. Because there's not that many... There's no... Uh, other events in Wise Elf Forest. I'm pretty sure it's just. Oh, I could hit him while he's running around. But yeah, I, um, I think it's the two encounter of the werewolves and the um, snake being in the same room, and then after that, it's uh, it's. You get to the middle of the woods where you find out about the moon, the moon men, I think, yeah. They're like bunnies from the moon, which is like the most adorable and weird thing in the world. Uh, I don't know if it's like some kind of culture thing, but it's just bunnies from the moon. Personally, never heard of anything like that. But, hey, I, I don't know. <laughs> Quite possible that it's a cultural thing, and if it's not, then I am even more curious of why they chose bunnies. Kai. Next episode, I might actually do a grind episode to get. Um... Oh, but I don't know if I don't remember if uh. I think uh, Goro gets. God damn. I think Goro gets a. Um, he gets a free, like, high level weapon, which is like an axe that is supposed to be his father's axe. I think. I remember him getting his father's axe for some reason. I don't know why. Is there a correlation? Will we get his father's axe? I have no clue. Um, whoever knows the answer will answer said question in the future, because um, we are in the past. And I don't know the answer. 
shiny stone? Is it the chestnut? It is. Didn't even need to pick up that shiny stone. It was the chestnut all along. We'll clear the floor while we have the opportunity. Heal everyone up. Goro, my boy. Went the wrong way. I don't, I don't really remember playing as Goro much. I don't, I don't know if it's because... He's weak, or if I just didn't like his style of weapons. I don't know. Maybe it's. I, I have a feeling it's because um, Toen is a sword user slash dagger user, so he's your main sort like melee character. So the other melee characters are essentially useless because well, you why would you use melee weapons? when you have a highly evolved melee user. You know what I mean? Like, why would you... Like, why would... Not possibly, but why would you intentionally use Goro over Toen when Toen has, like, what? 24 floors of experience on his weapon? Roughly 24? You know? You know, you know what I mean? Hi, Momo, which I have both, actually. Strong and cute girl admired by everybody. Momo's grandpa wears a reindeer mask. Yeah. So, I want to upgrade them. How has it event? Did we? Didn't he tell us not to come over yet? Hmm. Let's talk to Momo. Momo. Oh, this is the first time I've seen you. Where did you come from? Hmm. From the Vroon village? Oh, sorry. Never heard of it. Hi, Momo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Sir Maras, this village is comfortable place. Be. Stay as long as you like. Uh, how should I rebuild my Matake village? Hmm, I like the shop, so I'd like the house to be close to the Mr. Mustache's store. Okay. How should I rebuild Matake village? Hmm, I like the shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll have when it's done. Hmm, I haven't thought about that. I'll tell you when I think of something. Uh, what do you need for your house? Don't forget the nameplate in front of the house. Okay, yeah. The sign. Sign TM. Nice. What about mm, Kai? Kai? Kai even in here? Doesn't look like there's anyone else in here. He might be walking around. Mimic breaker. All things I really don't need. One day I'll get the Aqua Breaker. One day. Okay, I saw someone walking around there. Is that you, Kai? 
No, that's Momo. Who are you? Are you Kai? No, you're uh, that guy. Diana. Where is Kai? What the hell? He's over there then. I know it changes who's walking around every time you teleport, but... There's no bridge. You know what? I'm gonna build a bridge. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move Kai and Momo's house towards the shop. Right here. No. She likes to be nearby the shop. Oh, there she goes. Bam. Next to Pal's house. Make things easier. Okay, so I don't know where Kai is. Uh, wait, did I even... Am I being dumb? Do I even have Kai? I do have Kai. Hey, Kai, please. Please be in your house. Like Maroon Village. Take Village is like all over the place, so getting and finding everyone isn't the easiest thing. Alright, so I have no clue. <gasps> ah, no! Please be there. Oh, well, I mean, at least it's right here. Hey. Yeah, well done. I was your wife lately. <laughs> She's doing all right. Oh, you're not married? Okay, okay, I got you. I know that sometimes you wish you were, though, huh? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> that was the hunting. You're already done for the day. You can't feed your kids that way. Oh, you don't have children? Well, I see what you mean. Your kids that well, eh? You don't want to talk about them, huh? <laughs> I should have built Matake Village. Quest? Oh, I'll request a song. Memories at the bar. It's a classic. Memories see you at the bar. <laughs> I'll have one that's done. Who cares? <laughs> what will you need for your house? Torch keeps evil spirits away, so don't forget the torch. Put at least two, put at least two of them. Okay, he only needs one. <laughs> it's like, geez, he needs two. Seems like these two houses are the only houses left. Oh. Lamp Buster. My storage is also almost done, so it's kind of like, oh god, I, I hope I get a weapon upgrade soon. I mean, I uh level up my weapon soon. <laughs> But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you for next episode, Corn Session Thingy, and I shall see you then. Bye-bye!